and click on OK to add. Now you, you have added all the sections to the project. We can begin the modeling. Before modeling the arch rib, don't forget to come back to the meta unit by clicking on the button in this part of the screen. Now we will use the wizard in order to create the arch rib. Go into structure and into the wizard uh, tab here, you have base structures. Choose arch. So we'll first choose the first type, parabola 1. The number of segments will be 10. Here you have to enter the span of the bridge, which is 50, and the haze, which is 10 meter. Now we have to choose the material, so I will use the second one. And for the section, choose the R trip section. Now you have to click on the insert tab, and the insert points will be the point zero zero zero, so it's okay. Um, now just click on OK in order to create the R trip. Now we will generate the hangers. So for that, I will use the extrude function. So use the extra type node line element in order to transform the nodes, uh, to project these nodes on a line and to uh, create the hangers. So first of all, you have to select the node to be the nodes to be projected. So use this function, select by window, and select. Uh, these nodes. Okay, no, not the first node. So uh, we'll do again. Select the front view. It will be uh, easier for the selection. Okay. Now uh, for the material types, use the second material and the hanger property for the section. Um, after that. Okay, I have to save it. In the generation type, choose project, project on a line. And here you have to choose the projection line. So you can directly select on the screen these two nodes, which will define the projection line, and just click on apply in order to create the hangers. Now, to change the beta angle of these hangers after creation, you have to uh, go into change parameter option here. Uh, you have to select these hangers. So to select that, click here on select recent entity. So it will select automatically an entity which has been created uh, recently. Then choose element local access and you can change the beta angle. Click apply and the beta angle of all these elements will automatically be changed. To view a bit better, I will use the shrink option here. So now you can see uh, better the sections assigned to your elements. And now I will generate the main girder and duplicate the arch frame. For that, choose create element. Uh, general beam tapered beam. In the material section, select the second material. Choose main girder for the section. Zero for the beta angle. And don't forget to activate the intersect node option. Now click in the nodal connectivity uh, field and you just have to select on the screen the first node and the last node of the girder and it will be automatically created. Now I will translate this uh, main arch. For that choose the translate command. So now in the tree menu you have the translate element uh, window uh, which appeared here. Choose the 
copy mode, select all the elements on the window, and in the distance field choose equal distance, and in the y direction choose 14. Now one for the number of time, just click on apply in order to create the second arch rib. Let's use the extrude function to create the cross beams. So first of all you have to select the nodes to uh, extrude. So for that use the select by polygon and by doing like that you can uh, select these elements and nodes. Uh, choose node line elements, beam type the first material A36, um, the type of the section will be cross beam, click on projects on the line and choose the two nodes uh, on the of the line on which you want to project and just click on apply to create your cross beam. To view better we can hide the sections and Activate again the shrink. Now I will generate the bracings. So to generate the bracings, you have to uh, choose create element again. So the first things to do will be to select the recent entities. So it will automatically select the cross beam I just created, and I will go into view tab to activate only these elements. Now click on element uh, number so you can view the number of each element and in the window here element type general beam the material will be A36 and the section will be the sex section bracing and stringer uh, zero for the beta angle don't forget to check this option element. If you don't check it, uh, you will have some problems after that. Now click in this uh, nodal connectivity and I can create my uh, bracings. So first click on these two uh, middle uh, elements to create the main the bracings here. Um, Create directly by clicking on the screen like that. And now, now I will translate elements again. So go in the node element, translate, choose select single to select these two, um, these two bracings and choose copy equal distance 5 for the dx uh, 4 times and click on apply now I created this range of bracings now I will mirror these elements on the other side so click on mirror function um, select previous and recent entities so it will ask you happen to current selection, click on yes. Um, choose the plan YZ for the reflection and enter 25 which is the middle of the bridge and just click on OK to create uh, the others, the other bracings. Now I will create the bracings on the arch ribs. So go into the view and choose inverse active. So you will see only the two arch ribs. Now click on create elements. Create elements. General beam. Choose A36 for the material and choose the, the section number 5 strut. Enter 0 for the beta angle. Don't forget to check the intersect node. Click on the nodal connectivity field. 
and select directly click on the screen to connect these nodes together now click on select single to select these five elements which I just created and activate them here now we'll use the create element function here um, use the section bracing and stringer zero for the beta angle and connect the middle of this element and now click on these nodes to create the bracings click on activate all and we completed the modeling of the bridge.